Believe it or not, wired earbuds are still an incredibly viable option today, and the market when it comes to gaming has some of the best options out yet. Now, a few weeks ago, I did my first impressions over the JBL Quantum 50s, but how do I feel about them today? First, with what I love, we're gonna start with the braided cable. And the reason why I love that so much is these are the only pair of gaming earbuds that I have that use a braided cable. Now, a standard cable like a rubberized coated cable isn't the end of the world, but a braided cable is so light, it's so flexible, and uh, it really takes a lot of tension off your ears. Next is what is arguably the most important part to any set of gaming earbuds, and that's audio. Now, I played a lot of Apex Legends with these on, and when I first put them on and played Apex, I really, really expected them to be very bass heavy, but to my surprise, they're not at all. They definitely still have bass there, but they're extremely balanced. And then when it comes to just playing casual games, like they're, they sound incredible. If you need spatial audio, you hear that just fine, but if you're playing a game that has a lot of explosions, a lot of booms and everything, it all turns out extremely well. And then for me, the biggest relief I got out of these is the fact that these earbuds stay in place. Something I couldn't say about the Logitech G333s. Even with lots of movement, they just stay right in place where they're supposed to. And that's definitely something that wins my heart over with any set of earbuds. And then the mic on these things is absolutely incredible. Now, personally, I would never use an inline mic anyways, even though this one does sound really good. But once again, it sounds way better than I, I think an inline mic ever should. And then one last feature that I really liked about this is actually the inline controls. Now some of the other earbuds I own do have some inline controls, but it's usually just little clicky buttons. Whereas this one actually has a little slider for volume. It has a slide up and down to mute the mic. And then this mysterious button on the back that I still can't find any use for, but it's there. But although there were a lot of things that I liked about this headset, there's also some things that I dislike. The comfort over time, I would definitely say starts to go down on these, usually at about the one hour to two hour mark. Now I won't say that they hurt my ears, but it just feels like they start to build up a lot of pressure. So whenever I do take them out, it just feels like a bit of relief. And then when I put them back in, it's, you know, they're good to go again. But what's possibly my biggest gripe with these is the cable noise. Like when you have these on, if it's brushing against your shirt, if it's brushing your beard or anything like that, you're gonna hear every single bit of that traveling through this part of the cable, which is not braided right here. Now say with the Hyper S Cloud earbuds, I didn't have that issue at all. I, I actually never heard any cable noise from those. These you do hear every single bit of cable noise and it can get a little old after a while. Now this dislike is probably a little bit subjective, but I, I feel like they have a bit of a bulky design. It's not the worst I've seen. It's definitely not as bad as the Turtle Beach Battle Buds, but they stick out a bit. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna kind of ride outside of your ears. And then finally, there's a bit of white noise that comes through these. And it's not with every single device. Like if I plug these into my Go XLR, it's fine. But if I plug them directly to my motherboard or even when I was using them on my Nintendo Switch, there's this really faint light hum that you can hear. It's like a, just a little slight bit of white noise. Super strange, tends to go away when you're actually playing the game. But if you're sitting in the lobby or if you're just in an instance where there's no actual game noise, you're probably gonna hear some white noise coming through. Now if I was to compare these to what has been my most favorite set of gaming earbuds yet, the cloud earbuds, believe it or not, I think I would actually pick these over them. I do think the fit is a little bit better on the cloud earbuds, but I think the JBLs overall have much better audio. And quite honestly, you can say whatever you want about JBL. When it comes to audio and the gaming space, I personally think they're crushing it right now. Now, are they worth $30? Personally, I think I would rather see them hit the $20 mark, mainly for the fact that they're not pushing any crazy features and they don't really come with anything extra in the box. You don't get a splitter cable, so if you want to use these on your PC with the mic, you're going to have to invest in one of those. Or they also don't come with any type of adapters for iPhone or for USB-C adapter. But if you primarily play on your Switch and you're wanting a pair of earbuds that can work on any device and sound really good, I don't think you're gonna be able to beat these right here. Plus, that mic just sounds way too freaking good for being an inline mic. If you wanna check them out, I have a link down below. And if you wanna check out an incredible gaming headset, click this video right here. Or if you're looking to upgrade your Switch, check out this video right here.